Maryland police are looking for who destroyed more than 8,000 papaya trees at a farm in Capojo. KITV 4's Jill Kermoto joining us now. And Jill, I understand some believe the suspects may have a larger message in mind? That's right, Laura. Loretto Julian says he thinks it's a rival farmer who destroyed half his crop of papayas earlier this week. But at least one local biotech organization says two papaya farms being vandalized in two months is too much to be a coincidence. Loretto Julian says in his 30 years of papaya farming, he's never had something like this happen to him before. I cry when I see it in the place. 8,500 trees were chopped in half sometime Wednesday. The fruit left on the ground. A loss of about $100,000 for Julian. I don't understand why they do, it, do that to me. One nonprofit trade organization speculates eco terrorists are behind the destruction, those who are against genetically modified crops. The vandalism is eerily similar to the destruction at a papaya farm in Nidilani back in May. They say too calculated to be simply malicious youth. Julian doesn't know who would do this to him, but he believes it's an act of a jealous farmer, not eco terrorism. The president of the Papaya Industry Association agrees. Why would one end want to go through that much work? just to cut someone's papaya trees down uh, and not have the publicity. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. Kamiya says nearly all papaya farmers in Hawaii are growing genetically modified rainbow papayas, developed in 1998 to resist the devastating ring spot virus. Since 1998, we've been selling papayas in the marketplace, millions and millions of pounds, and not one uh, a bad thing, a complaint about it. Jerry Punzel thinks two young men are behind the vandalism on his Mililani farm, but police have not yet made an arrest in the case. Loretto Julian says he hopes someone will come forward with information at his farm that will put whoever did this behind bars. Now, anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 961-8300 in Hilo and 329-8181 in Kona. Joe Kermoto, KITV4 News.